when can you sign up for Medicare? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. I hope you stay tuned. My name is Jamie from meetjamie.com. I'm an independent insurance agent. I help people understand the Medicare program and get the coverage that fits their needs. Uh, best of all, my services are completely free to you as a Medicare beneficiary and my contact information is there on the screen for you or in the description of this video. I appreciate the phone calls and the messages that I get through my website. It's great to talk to many of you and I look forward to talking to more of you in the future. So when it comes to signing up for Medicare, the first thing I'll say is always remember that Social Security and Medicare are two different programs. So you might delay enrolling in Social Security until your full retirement age, but most likely you're going to want to sign up for Medicare at 65. And so those can be two very different time frames. You always want to keep that in mind. Um, I always encourage people to create an account on SSA.gov, the Social Security website, which we're going to talk about in the minute. And at the end, I'm going to share uh, just one last important bit of information, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, so the first thing you have to do is confirm your eligibility. So Original Medicare is known as Parts A and B and it's available to people who are 65 and older, uh, people under 65 on disability. In fact, I have a younger sister on disability who's on Medicare. And then certain people with certain diseases like end-stage renal disease or per permanent kidney failure requiring dialysis. So the other thing is obviously you need to also have worked the appropriate amount of quarters uh, which is 40 quarters and again you can get all that information inside of your social security account which is a, a big reason another big reason I encourage people to um, sign up for an account with them now the one thing I will say that I'm not going to touch on too much in this video but some of you may be interested in this is if you're planning on working past 65 and you or your spouse has health insurance through your employer and the employer has a, a company that's larger than 20 employees, um, you may not have to sign up for Medicare. Um, that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. I know a lot of people think that there are penalties if you don't sign up for Part B, but there are a lot of people who have health insurance through their work. They're going to work past 65. The company has more than 20 employees and they're happy with the coverage and so they wait to enroll in Medicare. Um, if you do that down the road when you sign up for Medicare, you'll just have to provide verification to Social Security from that employer saying that you had credible health insurance since you were first eligible for Medicare. Um, I've got another video out there about that as well. So once you have confirmed, yes, I qualify for Medicare, I want to apply at 65, um, there's three ways that you can do this. Um, the first way is, as I mentioned, create an account online at ssa.gov on the Social Security website. If you've already done that, then you're one step ahead of some people and you can initiate the enrollment for Part A and Part B through that portal. The other option is you can call Social Security directly. Uh, their phone number is 800-772-1213. Um, you may want to look and see if there's a local number for an office near you. A lot of times, I work here in Minnesota right now. I work with people in a couple different, um, or I'm aware of a couple different locations for Social Security offices, and they have their own phone number and sometimes you can get through a little bit quicker if you use a local office which leads to the last way you can get signed up you can actually go in person at that local security social security office and get the application going that way keep in mind that a lot of offices uh, will probably want you to make an appointment just like at the DMV so again it's probably a good idea to call ahead and get yourself on the schedule for that. Um, 
Once you have Medicare A and B in place, you will get a unique ID card, a Medicare card, and then you have to choose how you want to receive your coverage uh, under Medicare. So there's two main ways to get coverage. You can use original Medicare, and the nice thing about that is you have access to the network all across the country, and um, you can add a Medicare supplement plan. Now, the reason a lot of people uh, go this route is they want to be able to be in the Medicare network, um, and then the supplement just a lot of times will, depending on which one you choose, will just help cover the 20% gap in coverage from original Medicare that, that you would have to pay. So the supplement pays for that. Um, and then, of course, you'll also want to add a prescription drug plan as well. The other option is what's known as Medicare Advantage. This is known as the Part C of Medicare. And what that does is it bundles all of your coverage into one private health insurance plan. Um, it gives you, most of the time it has prescription drug coverage, but it also will give you some additional benefits like vision, dental, and hearing. Um, the one thing you want to keep in mind with the Medicare Advantage plan is um, with most of these plans, you'll have to stay within a specific network. Um, there may be some prior authorization on services and um, you will have potentially out-of-pocket costs for co-payments, uh, deductibles, and co-insurance. And they all have a maximum out-of-pocket for the year. This is on the Medicare Advantage. They can go um, from a few thousand dollars up to seven or eight thousand dollars depending on where you live and which plans are available in your area. So I know that a lot of people think that Medicare is confusing. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, but hopefully that uh, helps bring some clarity to you as far as getting the process going. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me for a toll-free toll free at 1-800-974-0552 or visit my website. You can send me a message there, meetjamie.com. Or you can just leave me a comment below if you have questions about Medicare. Uh, if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button and uh, tell a friend about the channel. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. Have a great day.